All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to jump into the reading, and this is going to be a no-contact reading. So it could be in regards to your twin flame or your soulmate. So this is how your person feels about you. Give me more messages. This person's guilt is starting to weigh on them. Yeah, they feel like that nobody compares to you. So I'm going to shuffle a few more times. I'm going to switch to tarot cards. And then I will come back to this deck. Give me more messages for my collective. All right, so this person is going to try to make amends with you here. So, so are we good? And then blocked. You might have this person blocked at this time. But that's not going to stop them from trying to reach out to you. So they might, you might find this person trying to reach out to you through another person's account or like a fake account. So they will find a way to reach out to you and they do want to make amends with you here. Yeah, this person is wearing a mask. They still want you. All right, so I'm going to pull out 10 tarot cards. I will come back to this, but I'm going to do spread first. Give me more messages for my collective about this no contact situation. Give me more messages for my collective. How does their person feel about them during this no contact? Yeah, this person's heartbroken. Okay, so I see things exactly as they are. It's like, at this point, they've had a wake-up call, okay? They're grieving over you. They're crying over you. They're heartbroken. They get jealous by others around you here. They realize that nobody compares to you, okay? So Three of Swords, this is like very telling to have this card come out um, in terms of like the first card. All right, so let me see what else we got. We have Two of Pentacles. So I see that your person sees you as that empress. They see you as someone who um, fulfills them in every way. It's like, it's almost as if you, um, you make them feel whole. You also have like a, like a mother's touch to you. But I feel like for the most part, it's talking about how you like naturally are like, there's like a natural like connection between you two. So feel like they see you as an empress you're very abundant you're very like your energy is like contagious right i do see that this person wants marriage with you so the universe brings all that i need to feel blissful this can talk about marriage page of wands can talk about good news messages communication so expect some type of communication from your person some of you guys could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn this is aries Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. If you're not, that's fine. So I'm going to move these aside. So page of wands, and now we have a page of cups. So they definitely do want a new start in this connection. They want a renewal. Oh, wow. So we had the Empress. Yeah. So now we have a, a counterpart here. Okay. So you are this person's counterpart. You don't have to be an Aries, but maybe some of you guys are an Aries or you're dealing with an Aries, but this person is your counterpart. Okay, so I feel like they do want a new start. So we're going to pull out two more cards. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very telling how we have two pages here, a counterpart, and now we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is like like overflow of fulfillment when it comes to love okay we're gonna pull out one more four of swords so i feel like you guys have taken time out of this person you've kind of almost like you've taken a break from this person and you kind of realized also that they are meant for you too but for the most part it's talking about your person 
literally laying in sorrow and thinking about, damn, like I, I missed out on the best person. Like I have a wake up call. Like I was literally sleeping on how special this connection is. So it's like they realized while they were in that Four of Swords energy that nobody compares to you. Okay, so the Four of Swords in Tarot is depicted as someone quite literally laying down in bed. And it's like they're contemplating, they're meditating, they're going in their head about certain things, and they're thinking very deeply about things. So this is what your person is doing. Give me one or two. Yeah, this connection's not over. So if you're wondering, how does this person feel? Do they still want me? Is this connection over? This is confirmation that it's not over. Okay, so if you're wondering that, if you're kind of like thinking in your head that this person does not care about you, just know that that is very far from the truth. Give me one or two. Thank you. So the tables have turned, right? I feel like you guys were crying a lot at first. Now the tables have turned. And I feel like you intuitively know this. Something tells me that your gut is telling you that this person is quite literally ugly crying over you. Or it's like they just kind of like stop for a second and their eyes start getting watery. Like, like you can... It's either like you have visions of this or you intuitively feel that you know that this person like literally stops what they're doing in their day-to-day -day life and they just start having like watery eyes because they start thinking about you. So they know that they're going to be back. They know that this connection's not over. And I feel like you know that this connection at this point, like me telling you this, now you know that this connection is not over. Okay, so even if you have this person blocked, that's not going to stop them. All right, so let me switch it up. I'm going to play around with another Oracle deck. Okay, so this is the Hidden Truth, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine um, Oracle deck. So we're going to play around with this. Yeah, this person's quite literally in that three of swords and um three of swords energy. One, two, three, four, five. You inspire me. I want to make amends. I still feel the pain. I have trouble with intimacy. This is talking about them opening up, right? They have a hard time opening up emotionally. I don't know what comes next. So they're unsure about how you're gonna react when they try to come towards you. But for some reason, something tells me that they're quite literally like, like it's almost as if they're not taking no for an answer. Or this is spirit confirming to you that like, if you're wondering that the connection's over or not, it's not. Okay, but for some reason, I'm also getting that your person feels like deep down in their heart that they can still save this relationship. Okay, so take that as it resonates, but... 
I do feel like this is like them feeling uneasy because they don't know how you're going to react when they try to come towards you. Okay. They are going to, um, I feel like this is talking about them like getting help in terms of like opening up. They might need like counseling or they're working on it already and like doing the shadow work. Okay. So yes, they do still feel the pain of your absence. They feel a very deep void without you is what I'm getting. There's also something about you specifically, like your personality, that inspires them. So that card, where is it? This card specifically could be talking about how you have like the strength to move forward. Like you might be heartbroken over this person, but you still at the same time, like manage your life and you're not unstable emotionally and you can still... Go upon your day-to-day -day life and, you know, keep yourself afloat. But on the other hand, with this person, something tells me that they are a complete wreck when you are not in their life, okay? So I feel like you being, like, very um, balanced, like, they are inspired and they want to be better. They want to be more in control of their emotions and they want to be strong-willed like you. Give me one or two. Give me one or two in regards to this soulmate or this twin flame connection. Thank you. Yeah, it's something about your intelligence, your will, your strong willed. You have a very strong personality. Your intelligence, especially though, is something that stimulates them. They can really, they really enjoy conversations with you. Okay, so I feel like when this person like tries to hang out with other people, for example, like the conversation does not go on. Like there's no chemistry. There's no, um, like the conversation just dies down. Like people that they meet cannot keep up with them and what they want to talk about and how they feel about things and debates for example or you know it's like this person i feel like that you're dealing with is like very chatty or it's like they like to talk about things that matter a lot to them and for some reason something tells me that you really listen to them when they talk about certain things you're really in tune with what they enjoy and what they want to talk about and what they like and all that stuff like you you guys are really like it's almost as if you're you're like support you're supporting this person with whatever they have on their mind so it's like it's also like that but in general it's really talking about like your intelligence in general the way you think the way you perceive things your creativity it's like the way you go upon things you're very go-getter right so that's the i feel like that's like one of the main things that this person struggles to find in other people that like they see that nobody compares to you like quite literally it's like they're out the door type of thing if they ever considered like or if they ever went with someone else it's like they cannot be in the same room with that person for more than like a few minutes or an hour or whatever because there's no chemistry there so i feel like something in regards to that is also related now, not all of you guys are dealing with someone who's trying to get to know other people. I feel like for the majority of you guys, this person doesn't even want to entertain new people. Your person is quite literally stuck on you. Okay, but um, if it's like a long-term disconnect, for example, maybe they've tried to entertain other people in their life. And when they tried, it just didn't work out. Okay, so that's something that I'm picking up on whoops all right so i'm actually going to do another spread with this deck
don't want to know if you're dealing with someone else. It's like literally too much for them to bear to see you with someone else. Like they cannot even fathom you dealing with someone else. They do watch your social media. And the thought of you being with someone else like literally makes them lose their marbles. And they just can't deal. You know what I'm saying? Like... I'm also getting Three of Swords can talk about them recovering from addictions for some of you guys. Or they're trying to recover from the grief of this, this breakup, perhaps. Something about recovering. So it could be you, it could be them. Take that as it resonates. So that's also another thing here. But either way, your person is quite literally devastated over you. You guys had the Three of Swords come out at first, and that is very telling. Okay, so your person is not happy without you here. As much as you think that this person doesn't care, they do. Okay, I'm going to go back to the tarot spread. So you have a decision to make. I do see that with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Double confirmation. Whatever I decide, I trust in the outcome. I calmly make the best possible decision, right? This is you making a decision, excuse me, oh my god, decision, excuse me, um, in regards to if you want this past person or do you want to move forward with someone new, Okay. So I do see that you guys are about to meet someone new. It most likely be, it most likely will be somebody that you might meet in like a public setting, some type of gathering, a party. And you, I feel like, will have a hard decision to make. Because what I see here is that you want this past person, but you also want this new person. Take that as it resonates. Some of you don't want this past person. You want this new person or others of you, it's like you only want this past person and you, and you don't want this new person. But I feel like some of you guys are stuck in the middle when it comes to who you want. So I do see that this past person could be faded for you. There's still a connection there. But I also see that someone new is faded for you too. So you do have more than one soul tie connection here. Um... And this is like after you like focusing on yourself. I feel like you guys have been very selfish and you've been like focusing on yourself, splurging on yourself, like just doing things for you for once. And it's like bringing people in. I feel like it's like attracting people naturally towards you. You have a lot of recognition here. You have a lot of secret admirers. You have a lot of people looking at you as that star, basically, right? Six of Wands, even in your workplace, whether you know this or not, I feel like in your job, people are low-key admiring you. Ten of Swords. So like I said, some of you guys are going to put this past relationship to an end. And you're going to go with this new connection. So I find clarity through calm. This is where you might find yourself making the best possible decision through your calm, um, cleared mind. Okay? Um yeah, I feel like you guys have been very strong throughout this connection. You've tolerated a lot 
out of this person. So maybe that's why you're moving forward with this new person. And you've learned also how to tame the lion inside of you too. So by being calm, you can find clarity through that, right? So it's like this person, I feel like could have triggered you a lot. And you had to learn to tame that line that's inside of you. And that was very hard, I feel like, right? So this is Leo energy. This is Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Sagittarius, Cancer energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All the energies are here, but yeah. So main energies I do see are Leo, Sag, um, Sagittarius again, Cancer energy, Gemini energy, and Aries. So you might be mainly dealing with those, but it doesn't have to be. But those are the energies that are popping up. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this love reading, and I will follow up with you in the next love reading.